welcome to Dig in SoCal. This is the third and final chapter of the Garrett Ace 300. We uh, bought it in the first, used it in the second, and I'm using it today on my way back to LA. And uh, then we'll do a little giveaway. So we'll part with it. So far it's turned to be a really good machine. Stay tuned, I have been hunting for a while and you'll be surprised at what I found with it so far. So don't go away. And then uh, at the very end, we'll do the drawing. So thanks for watching and to the hunt. First target with the uh, 300 here. That's kind of weird. All over the place. So we got. What is that? That's like a one euro, maybe? Wow. Alright, that's kind of cool. 10 to 15 here. Grunty, grunty. Oh, I got something. What'd you get? Piece of jewelry? It looks like a tack. <laughs> it's not, though. That is weird. It is weird. A little earring thing. Yeah, look at that thing. It looks like a tack. It is weird. Strange. 77, 78. What do we have? Right there. Let's see. I knocked it back in the hole. A penny. Nice 84 right here. Right there. I could probably probe it, but I'm going to use the shovel this time. Oh, let's see what we got here. Dime. Yeah, I had a grunty iron target here and never fails. Got me a 10 stink. I think it was a 25 on the 300. Nice. A low grunty tone here dug it up and it looks like a uh, coin probably uh, from Mexico yeah it's a peso they do come in even on the manicore they come in like a grunt or an iron so very cool I'm working this edge right here and I had a 62 63 so we got ooh a ring well that's pretty wow I did a test with the uh, other gold ring I found and it was actually a 62 63 so there's potential here I can't quite tell if it's real or not I'll check it with the eyepiece. I don't think I have it with me. It's in the truck, so that could be gold if the numbers are right, but I'm not really sure. I will update you when I get back to the truck on the next stop, but uh, that'd be nice if it was gold. That's a good find. Garrett Ace 300. I think this is my, uh, well, technically my second ring, but the first ring of this hunt. Very cool. All right, getting 30s and uh, up to 40 on this one. What we got here? Get out of the sh shade here. You can see. Ooh. What we got here? 
What's that say? Riley. It's broken. Probably just bling, but yeah. Got a necklace. Very cool. Alright, this one just came up the same as foil. Cute little ring, kids ring. Ring number two at this park. And uh yeah, not too bad. Rings a ring a ring. Ring a ding. Well, I thought I was digging up a quarter at the bottom of this slide here, but it looks like a car. Yep, another car. I was getting a 78 right here, and I'm not really sure. I thought I had some more can slaw, but I don't know what it is yet. Well, I guess it's a plane. Missing a wing. Wow. That's a pretty cool find. Probably only turns one direction. Got a nice 80, 83, 84 right here. I right, see something orange. Uh, stuck in there pretty good. Oh, here we go. Oh, how funny. Another toy in the mud. Cool. That's it. Nice. Awesome. I was digging up a 73. I was pretty confident it was going to be a penny. And I just pulled this out. It is a ring. Nice. Another ring for the Garrett. Let's see if I can uh, pop that up real quick. Might be, yeah, there's, what's that say? Probably tungsten, yeah, Triton. Pretty sure it's gonna be a tungsten ring. Wow, same signal as a penny. Insane. I get a lot of tungsten rings when I think I'm digging pennies, so that's why I dig them. Right behind the bench. Sweet find. With the Ace 300, probably my last park. I found a fork at the bottom of that slide. Moving over here to the swings where there's, the kids just left, so. Grunt, grunt, grunt. That's what we got. Okay, we have something here. Oh my goodness. Another chain. See, that's why I leave the. Uh, Detector in the full spectrum of signals. That's pretty. You know, I use it with the uh, zero discrimination since it's something new to me. Wow. I know the chain's bling. I'll get a better look at the. Uh, I like. Eh, I can see copper coming through the bottom of that. So I'll check it closer, but that's cool. Got a cross. Anyway, yeah, so I like to hear everything right now. I'm still learning this machine. A lot of good that's going to do me since I'm giving it away, but it's fun to play with. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely, in my opinion, a good all-around machine for at least a dry. I didn't take it to the water, but uh, good entry-level machine for sure. It's doing a good job. I'm finding lots of good targets. Let's see, let this run a little bit here and see if I find anything else. All over the place again. Ooh.
Well, that time it's uh, iron. Can't always win. Probably more garbage. Didn't sound that good and it's jumping a lot more. There it is. Got a spike. I'll keep it running until I get this slide, uh, the swings done anyway. That's kind of jumpy. Not getting the best signal back and forth. Foil. Whew. That's probably what it was. This Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. It's right there. Have to loosen this up a little bit here. Hmm. There's a net down here, so we won't mess with that. Probably the bottom. Well, looks like all I got was that chain. Right. I usually go through it twice though because it's so easy to miss stuff. Anyway, I'll bring you up on another target if I get one. Like I said, this is probably my last hoorah before I get back to good old SoCal. Here is the wrap up from the return trip home. From Sacramento to LA I stopped in a few parks in the Sacramento Stockton area and uh, used the 300 one last time I got uh, three cars airplane little truck and then I did get a fork and a tent stake got uh, two bullets not really sure if they came via the wood chips or if they were actually fired in the park either way they're in pretty bad shape so who knows where they came from anyway um, Typical stuff you get, nails, screws, bolts. Um, not really sure if this is something to turn gas on and off with. That's what it kind of looks like. I got a set of keys, got a, a top to a flashlight, safety pin, a little spike, grommet, top to a lighter, battery, um, pull tabs. I threw away all the bottle caps and can slaw. And then we've got, um, what, the 250 in quarters, Dollar thirty in dimes, twenty five cents in nickels, and about thirty three cents in pennies. When I saw this, I thought it was a tack, the old style thumbtack, but I think it's a wine glass. Riley pendant was on that chain, and this cross was on the chain above it. It is not silver. It looked really good when I found it. I got a euro and a peso. Neither of these I got on film. This is a Greater Sacramento flattened penny. And this, I'm not really sure. The cross actually comes off it. I'm surprised it didn't get lost somehow. But um, not sure if it was part of a bracelet or something else. Very interesting. I did get three rings on this particular hunt. A butterfly kid's ring. Man, I thought this was gold when I found it. 
it rang up just as like gold, but the diamond's glued on and you, no markings, and it's just obvious that it's um, bling. So too bad. But when that thing came out of the ground, or actually out of the top lot wood chips, I got really excited. Um, Triton tungsten ring. That was in the grass. Nice little find. Probably my best ring of the three. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I'm really starting to like that 300. It's very simple to use and it's a great um, starter detector. I will say the downside is the lack of volume control, but I did put tape over the speaker and that did help. That thing just blasts when it's uh, not taped up. There you have it. That is the wrap up. So we're gonna go on to the drawing next. And speaking of drawing, I'm actually considering sending the winner a brand new one in the box from the seller. Um, and keeping this 300. I might have to send this one up to the grandkids. They had so much fun detecting with me. I think they'd get a kick out of having their own. So we'll see, but either way, we're giving away an ACE 300 from Garrett. So stay tuned for that. All right, I was gonna give away the Garrett ACE 300, but I decided I no longer want to give it away. I'm keeping it for myself. So thanks for watching everybody. I'm kidding. Let's go ahead and see who the lucky winner is gonna be. Bam! Bill Brasky, congratulations, you are the winner. Go ahead and shoot me an email at bill at digginsocal.com and I will get this out to you. I need your complete mailing information. Congratulations, Bill. Another Bill. Sweet.